So I just got home from work and I'm thinking I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me because I have a lot of things to buy and I haven't made a video in a long time. So isn't this just a perfect opportunity? First things first, I'm going to adjust the elephant in the room. My bed never looks this messy. My bed is never gets messy. My room is not messy at all. It's just my bed has become a dumping ground. And the reason for that is because I've run out of coat hangers. I buy really specific coat hangers. No, that, no, they're not that specific though. It's just white plastic coat hangers, but they are literally impossible to find. As you can see here, white plastic coat hangers. I like to keep my closet really cohesive, as you can tell. And um, I am not willing to change that and put random black or orange or wooden hangers in here. I have been to Big W, Woolworths, Spotlight, everywhere, Kmart, looking for white plastic coat hangers, but they're nowhere to be found. But I found online that Bunnings Warehouse may have them, so that will be my first stop. But first, let's just talk about this jumper I got from Adidas. This is a size six, extra small. That's way too big. Oh, fingers crossed they have the coat hangers. But first, let's look at some plants. Okay, I've decided I don't need a new plant today. Not yet, not yet. Guys, I've won the lottery. It took me, I kid you not, it took me three weeks to find these. The only place in the Shire that sells plastic white coat hangers, Bunnings Warehouse, Kirawi. So I'm at the Westfield. What I'm looking for is a pair of track pants that will really look good when you're wearing it with a proper outfit. It doesn't look like I've just rolled out of bed. I need something that's really warm for me to wear in the office, but still looks kind of professional. It's so hard to find tracksuit pants. Well, not tracksuit pants, but nice like fleece pants that are fleece, like not that terry towel uh, material on the inside. Hope this fits. It's just a bit too big, I think. Everything's just a bit too big. So, I've just decided to buy some black platform Converse from the kids section. It is so rare for Converse to make platform shoes in the kids sizes, so I had to get it. Unfortunately, they didn't have my size, so I had to pay for it now and then they'll send it to my house for free. Just doing my grocery shopping because I'm working both Saturday and Sunday this week. So, I bought ingredients to buy a burrito bowl or a taco bowl so I bought the hard taco shells and then I'm gonna cook the ingredients and put them in my little meal prep containers and then when I'm at work I'm gonna heat it up and then stuff the taco shells with it so it's like tacos on the go. So it's currently 9.40 um, I am exhausted because I get up every single day at 4.45 to go to the gym um, so it's way past my bedtime already but I had such a disappointing shopping trip. Actually I lied it wasn't that disappointing because I got Oh, my coat hangers. It's just so disappointing that I can't go in stores and just go in and try on clothes and be like, yep, that fits and go home with it. And it's actually unbelievable how many pairs of track pants aren't fleece these days. They're all terry towel. Nothing's fleece. Like I read somewhere, it's something to do with the growing population because like our obesity rates and our like sizes are gradually getting bigger year by year. But that doesn't mean people like, tiny people like me don't exist. You know what I mean? Like petite people are still out there. That only thing that I actually got like in my hands today were these track pants from the kids section at Kmart and they are not the thickest fleece but still sort of fleece. Everything else was this like really towel-like material which is like not going to keep you warm during the winter. This was meant to be like an actually like a really fun shopping haul like a proper vlog where I'm like this is what I got from Kmart, this is what I got from Cotton On, this is what I got from Supre but obviously like just disappointing and a constant reminder to me that like the smaller I am, the less I matter. Not really, but like that got too deep, but for real, I just like wish people would manufacture clothing that would fit tiny people. You know what? I'm going to turn this into a weekend vlog because I got a lot of good feedback and compliments on my vlog last time. So I'm just gonna turn it all around and make it a weekend vlog. First things first, I need to get all the clothes off my bed and put them on those hangers over there. Oh, I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Anyway, my plans for the rest of the night is just to take it really, really easy. And then I'm going to go to work tomorrow. And then after work, I'm gonna go to the city. We love going to the city for a friend's birthday. And then after that, I got work the next day, so I can't have a big one. Big sad. And now I finished cleaning my room. 
Feels like a breath of fresh air. So it's currently, I think 7.30 in the morning and I just got to the parking lot and I decided that I really want to kind of elevate the way I create content for work because um, at my work they've kind of made me the new content creator and they want me to be the star of all of them and I have no experience in making reels and TikToks and I'm going to take it upon myself to really to really make sure that the content that I'm creating for them is high quality and looks good and I want to make sure that I know my angles and I know what I'm doing as well. So I'm at the Westwood parking lot and um, I'm going to make some reels and make some well, real TikTok content and see how I go with that because I really want to elevate my game. So I think I've just finished shooting all the content that I wanted. Um, I would have done it in the undercover parts of the car park. See, I'm on the rooftop, but um, I think I'm too shy for that. I don't think I've got the confidence to do that in front of people if they walk past. So I'm just doing it on the quietest level of the Westfield at the moment. I just hope that my workplace kind of really recognizes the work that I will put into my content and into the content for them and they'll ask me to do it more and then hopefully I get maybe a little promotion as well. So yeah, I start working an hour now here in the Westfield so I'm just gonna put my work clothes on, go for a walk and have a look and then start my shift and I finish at six and then after that I'm gonna go out tonight. So I finished work about an hour and a half ago and now I'm in the city because I'm about to go to my first poof doof. It's um, one of Renee's friends Cam's birthday. Um, hopefully one of my friends too, but I'm excited. I just love, absolutely love how the city is pumping tonight. Feels like everything's back to normal. Oh, there's Renee. Hello. Yeah. All right, Ivy. Ready for the poof doof. You know it's good when the line is long, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, so the next day and um i'm doing another shoot i'm gonna be doing a shoot with freckle clothing co which is owned by one of my best friends and i'm really excited also check this out look at how fast my hair grows in six weeks stop growing we're here Done. And now I've got work in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna grab a muffin. Um, it's actually my last rostered shift for this weekend at my casual job. So I'm not working anymore at um, my casual job on the weekends. I'm only gonna be call in, so whenever there's someone sick on the Saturday or Sunday, I'll go in. But no, I get my weekends back. I am going to watch back on all the videos I took of this weekend for this vlog, and I'm gonna have absolutely no idea what I filmed and how consistent it is. So when I go home and edit this, I'm really sorry if it seems very sporadic. Sorry. This is going to conclude my weekend vlog. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to make these. I keep saying that every time. I don't really feel like I'm a vlogging person. I don't know how consistent I'll be with this, but um, I'm not working weekends anymore. So hopefully I can have some more time to do fun things. Thanks again to everyone for watching. I really appreciate you guys just even sitting here watching this, even having me playing in the background. It just makes me feel happy that people like what I do. Till then, I'll see you guys next time.